All eyes in the tropics. Hurricane Ian rapidly intensified today as it is now barreling towards Florida. The state could start feeling Ian's wrath as early as tomorrow with hurricane conditions potentially hitting Wednesday. Several evacuations have already been issued for cities and counties in the path of this potential storm coming to Florida. ABC's Morgan Norwood now live for us in Tampa with a closer look at the precautions being taken. Yeah, sorry, authorities here in Florida are urging everyone to take this storm seriously. This is the old Tampa Bay right behind me. And as we've been saying all day long, the biggest threat is going to be that dangerous storm surge up to 10 feet that really has the ability to swallow everything in its path. And it's why we've seen multiple mandatory evacuation orders up and down the Florida coast. As Hurricane Ian continues to strengthen in the Atlantic, residents in parts of Tampa under mandatory evacuation. We expect to have to evacuate over 300,000 people, and it will take some time. Time is of the essence. Act now. Officials worried about a catastrophic storm surge in the city that could reach up to 10 feet above sea level. This portion of the coastline, the west coast of Florida, is incredibly vulnerable to storm surge. I want to stress that if you're ordered to evacuate, that you, you must comply with those evacuation instructions. Residents are boarding up and gathering supplies, including sandbags and non-perishables. We weren't expecting it to come right at us, and now it looks like it is, so it's a little concerning. This one... Looks like it could be a real one, so I'll try and protect my property, get stuff up to the second level where I can. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis declaring a state of emergency across the entire state. Please be prepared uh, because this is a very big storm. It's about 500 miles wide. The worst of the storm will start to impact Florida on Thursday with heavy rain, high winds and flooding, though the exact track of the storm is still up in the air. And so, yes, follow that track, but don't think because that eye may or may not be in your area that you're not going to see impacts. You're going to see significant impacts. Ian is expected to become a major Category 3 hurricane tonight as it moves through Cuba and continues to strengthen as it hits the warm waters in the Gulf. And with that said, Ian has definitely strengthened within the past few minutes or so. Now a Category 2 storm. Again, officials beginning to announce some closures. We're just learning that the Tampa airport will begin to close as soon as tomorrow. Schools also close, but that's because they need to reopen at hurricane shelters. Live from Tampa Bay, I'm Morgan Norwood, Channel 6 Action News. Shari? All right, Morgan, thanks for the update.